You're watching WMAR 2 News. Hi, I'm Ashley James with your WMAR 2 News update. There's still been no arrests in the murder of a man that happened inside of Druid Hill Park in Baltimore over the weekend. Investigators say someone walking through the park noticed a man slumped over in a car and called police. When police got there, they saw the man had been shot. He died on the scene. The victim has been identified as 38 year old Leroy Green. Anyone with information is asked to call police. And this morning, there is a new push to increase wages for sanitation workers in Baltimore City. We've reported on the complaints for months now from residents saying their pickups were missed. DBW has blamed the pandemic after outbreaks took out more than half of their workforce. And now two city council members say it's not the virus, but mismanagement. That's the root of the problems. They believe if these workers were paid a fair wage, the agency could retain more workers and keep trash routes covered even in the pandemic. The two wrote a letter to Governor Larry Hogan requesting a $5,000 bonus for workers and to consider a $4 raise to their hourly salary. And someone has stolen the iconic bell from Harvard Grace High School. That bell has been at the school's old building on Constitution Avenue since 1955. The plan was to move it to the new high school building in Harvard Grace. Right now, police are still looking for the person responsible. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend this morning, just like over the weekend, just like on Friday. We're still tracking some patchy fog out there. We're also going to continue to track temperatures that are going to be above average for today. And also that humidity is going to be high. And we're also tracking some rain chances as we work our way really in through your tomorrow and Wednesday. This morning can't rule the chance for a spotty shower, but mainly dry. In terms of the muggies, we have them out there today and also tomorrow. And then those dew points will begin to go back down as that cold front moves through and drags in some dry and cooler air for tomorrow. That's when we'll start to see the showers and thunderstorms possible in the forecast, and that will linger as that cold front moves through on your Wednesday as well. And then behind that front again, we will dry out nicely. High temperature today in the upper 70s to low 80s, so we will stay above average, and that trend will stick around into your Tuesday and finally drop those temperatures uh, below average as we head towards your Friday, Saturday, and also Sunday with temperatures in the mid 60s. Ashley. All right, Lynette, thank you. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates and for news and weather while you're on the go. Download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch Live Radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ashley James. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.